Hey everybody, Mark McRae here with a video. I have not posted one in a long time. I apologize. Going to try and start posting uh, videos again on the regular, trying to help people with topology and uh, game industry pipeline stuff. Um, Going to hopefully uh, answer questions for people. Uh, if you if there's anything that you're struggling with and you want help with, please let me know. I will make a video for it. I'm going to be coming out with a, a bunch of stuff. I want to finish my Maya tutorial series that I had started and had to step away from. Um, I got myself into a, a couple different projects that took up all my time. Um, those projects are now are now done, and I'm just kind of doing small stuff again at the moment. So I figured it would give me some time to uh, focus on the channel again. I have a sip of my coffee there. <clears throat> Sorry for the throat clears and stuff. Uh, just woke up and I'm usually a bit <clears throat> had to <laughs> mute for a little cough there. Um, I'm always a bit stuffy and wonky in the mornings, but uh, hopefully we can get through this easy. Let's set that back to normal. Um, so what I, what I've seen kind of in, you know, groups, Facebook groups and Reddit groups and stuff like that, that I've had is people asking a lot of the same questions, uh, things that are hard to find answers for on the internet, um, or, or just not made clear. So hopefully this video will help with people that are having trouble with spheres and cutting shapes from spheres and the big shape that gets that people have trouble with is cutting a square out of a uh, out of a sphere now if we if we google like I'm just gonna do a quick little thing here um, Googling so yeah let's take a look here so we've got I googled you know cut a cube from a sphere in Maya 3d uh, and we see you know people doing shapes we get a square cut out of a, a cube you see a lot of circles being cut um, and inset that's easy that that's that's simple um, or squares into a cylinder again it there's there is some difficulty to it um, but that you see these answers everywhere I have not in spent the last two days searching to see if anybody actually does this properly or shows it off even at all and I only found one video that actually even tried to show it and he did have decent results, but he was wrong on on a few things. Um, not to sound, you know, elitist or anything, but it, it is a tough shape to do. Um, so I wanted to uh, take the time to actually show what I do. Now, the, the first mistake that people make is this is the sphere they try to work with. Uh, this sphere is not good. Uh, yes, it's a perfect sphere. In that way, it's great. But this pole that is created by this simple polygon sphere is not easy to work with. Everything wants to pull to those poles. So what we want to do is actually create a cube. And we're going to subdivide it a few times. And make it close to a circle now we can see if we look at it it's not a perfect sphere it does still kind of square off a bit right um, which we can tell is is more obvious when we put it next to a sphere where like we can see it does it does look a little flat you can tell it you can tell it's been made from a uh, a 
cube. Why did that? That's weird. Huh. That was odd. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up so it's a bit bigger than the sphere. Grab the sphere, control click on the cube, we're going to go to mesh, transfer attributes, click the box, and let's just reset so you can, this is how it starts, and all you want to change is the vector position. So you're going to transfer those attributes, and if we do that, you can, you can see that our cube changed. Now, very important that we freeze those transformations, but now we can see our cube actually looks like a proper sphere now. It doesn't have that those flat sides to it anymore. So we can get rid of that one. And now we've got something nice to work with here. OK. So we've got our, our cubed off sphere and let's cut a, uh, a square into this. Now, as I think I already said, I had to stop recording and come back to this. <laughs> um, it's hard to get this to look perfect. So, you know, don't beat yourself up if you've got a slight bit of artifacting and distortion. Um, this is one of the hardest cuts to do into a, a uh, another mesh, the square into a circle, um, which is why you don't really see it being demoed by anyone, because it's really tough to make it look perfect. Um, and I'm gonna, you know, spoiler alert, this isn't going to be perfect. I think it looks pretty good. Another sip of coffee. Um, but there is going to be some slight artifacting left on this. So, oh, and I just realized. So we want to offset in a bit here. Um, want to make sure that I don't lose too much of my shape with that offset. Okay, and then again, let's paint our, oh, why am I, I was on the wrong tool here, um, grab my faces, extrude in, plop, now, <clears throat> first thing we see is we've got some bowing on these edges, so that's, that's not a cube. Right, so we need to get rid of that bowing. Um, so let's grab that face. We're going to grab our um, pivot, move it over to that vertex so that we are scaling from that spot. And same thing here, we want to scale from that corner. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other sides here. So now we've got a proper square. And if we take a look at this in subdiv mode, we can see we've got the starting point of a square cut out of a sphere and it's this rounded corner that we want to get rid of and that gives such headaches right so the way that I like to try to solve this is what I'll do is we're gonna go in and how tight do we want this do we want super tight corners let's do super tight corners um, so five five percent there, there, and there. So we got nice, super tight 
and then l let's just put a uh, supporting edges there as well. So now we can see we've got those nice tight corners, but we've got this ridging artifacting happening from where we created those supporting edges. Um, now, there's a few different ways that you may have seen people try to solve this, and I'll, I'm going to I'm going to demo that here. So one way that you'll see some people do this is they'll create these. Uh, and let's just Let's do it this way. Delete. Wow, it really doesn't want to. Anyway, well, we won't delete those right now then. Um, ignore these ridges, but you'll see. So it does create a slight pinch. See that artifacting there? And you may decide, you know what, you're cool with that. That's that's how I want to do this. And you just get rid of these extraneous edges, right? Um, if you want to do it that way, you can do it that way. Oh. It's, it's, it's a tough mess to clean up, um, especially when you don't have all of it here. Um, if I do, I'd have to do it all. I'm not going to do all these. Um, but if that's the way that you want to do it, you can definitely do it that way. Uh, you'll have slight pinching in the corner there. Um, the one video that I found trying to demo this, that is how they managed it, was they just pinched that corner off and accepted that, that, that pinching in the corner <clears throat> coming off. Um, so I'm going to show you how I like to do it and maybe you'll prefer this method. Maybe you won't. Uh, so we want to turn on our edge slide so that we maintain our, our surface as we do this. And we're just going to unselect these so that we're moving just these and we're going to pull close to center. And we can adjust this if we don't like it. And then we're going to do the same thing with these. Let's actually grab stuff properly. Unselect. Unselect so that we just have that outer edge. And we're going to scale these in. Again, make sure you've got that... Uh, edge slide on so that you don't lose your sphere shape by doing that. Um, and actually just to demo, if we turn that off, we can see, you know, we lose our shape, right? So that's why we're turning on edge slide. So it keeps that, that form. So now we can see we've lost the majority of those ridges. There is still some slight, and if, let's put a blend on here so we can see things even better. Um, there is a little bit still there and you can definitely work these edges. Until, uh, you get something that maybe is a little bit cleaner, something that you're a little more happy with. Maybe we want to go more to the center here. Maybe that'll help clean us up a bit. <clears throat> and yeah, that's, that's looking pretty clean. You can still see slight, um, but you know, like I said, it's, 
it is tough to get this perfect. So if you want to take this a step further and make it easier to work with, you could select this inner piece, leave that lip there, and just detach it to set it off as its own mesh. So we can see that that is now separate. And if we hit our smooth, I've got a, a puppy here whining beside me. I don't know if you can hear that. Wants my attention. Probably wants to play. Hey, buddy. Um, cutting this out will make it easier to work with shapes within it now. So, like, say I want to extrude. Oh. Um, let's turn off our edge slide. If I wanted to extrude this out. And, uh. work with it then you know it gets easier to uh, to work with because I everything I do to it because like to square off these corners now I need to pull edges in right um, let's go back into our so I need to I think I might. The easiest way for me to do this is just to do that. Right? <clears throat> um, and then we want to create that um, so the beauty oh, oh my god I'm not functioning properly here um, so if, if these were still attached right then this extra geometry that I just put in would go around the uh, sphere entirely um, so that's why you want to cut panels out so that you can work individually with them now I would probably make this a little bit cleaner by uh, maybe pulling and having these just go this way because having this extra one here this just doesn't sit right with me um, I, I really don't like the way that that uh, the way that that looks um, it's something I definitely want to play with to improve it but uh, I just wanted to quickly show why you would cut. If you're going to manipulate further, cut that panel out so that you can work with it without af affecting your sphere the rest of the way. Um, I hope this helped people out. Um, if you have any questions or if you have a better way to do this, you know, let me know. Share. I'm, uh, I'm just as happy to learn as I am to try and teach people. Because uh, I'm I'm definitely not perfect. I don't know everything. Um, there's always room to improve. I just hope that these videos are, are helping those that do know less than I do. Um, so, you know, hit like, hit subscribe. Let me know what you might want to see from me. And I'll uh, talk to you all again soon. Thank you very much.